Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. So, <clears throat> I just wanted to update you on the case of Saeed. Um, I was going to do a video the other day, but um, I didn't really know what to say. And everything had happened so fast, and I wanted to see what was going to happen today. Um, with ACLJ Radio, and kind of what the next things were. Um, anyways, basically, historic stuff has happened in a bad way. So, Obama made this, Obama and Secretary Kerry made this nuclear deal with Iran, 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 whatever, which is just bad all around. It's being called a historic mistake by Israel. The Saudi prince said we were being played and that it was a deceit and it was based on lies. Everybody else can see through it except for naive Obama and the world powers just super stupid but actually the thing is too it's funny because um I got the alerts on my phone Saturday night I was in the bath and I got the alerts that Iran had made this deal and I thought well that's great this isn't gonna be good because it's been it feels like so rushed it's been so rushed and so I thought well that can't be good well I missed what the president said because I was in the bath so I got out and I was listening to Secretary Kerry and listening to all the analysts and I thought this doesn't sound good and I'm like gosh why do I get the feeling like we're being played like this is some setup we're gonna regret like they're just you, you know and so I was talking to my friend Aaron and I said if, why does it feel like we're getting played and he said because the, we are like we're getting pumped by Iran and I'm like that's nice so then I was talking to somebody else on Twitter uh, one of my friends, we were talking about Saeed and, uh, someone that I know on Twitter, and, uh, I said, you know, it, it feels like we just got, like, played, like, I mean, it, that's what it feels literally like, we just, Obama got played, and I said, why, why does it feel like Obama got played in that we just did something we're gonna regret, and he said, because he did, and then, like, not even five minutes after I tweeted that, um, Somebody else that I follow on Twitter that has a bunch of news stuff sent out a thing and the Saudi prince came out and said that Obama was played. And he said that it was based on lies and it was based on deception. And so everybody can see through this deal but him. And now the Israel and the Saudis are aligning. We're basically throwing our best ally under the bus and basically leaving them on their own, which is stupid job. And... So we made this deal and they could have opted to not negotiate anything until Saeed and the two Americans were out of the jail, but they didn't. They decided that it was only going to focus on nuclear talks and they never even mentioned Saeed or the other Americans. And this deal is super dumb because Iran can still enrich uranium and... They don't have to dismantle anything, and we're giving them humanitarian aid, which is ridiculous, and a bunch of money, like $7 billion or something, which is super dumb, because a bunch of people think that they're just going to make, like, some little area that the West can see to show they're complying, and they're going to secretly build nuclear weapons and pour all that money into it. So we're basically just funding their nuclear weapons, and it's not going to stop them, because they already said before they weren't going to give up their weapons. And they're celebrating in the streets of Tehran. Well, yeah, they're celebrating because they got everything they wanted. And they didn't have to give us nothing. They didn't have to give us nothing. Super retarded. And so Obama, once again, Obama failed these Americans and betrayed them. And they still sit in the jails. And Iran celebrates and we get nothing. We don't even look good. The Middle East thinks we're stupid to fall for such a dumb deal. And it's so hard to see Nagme on the TV or, and here on ACLJ Radio. It's so hard. Like, she just keeps talking about how her kids, uh, her kids keep saying that, praying that they can see their dad and praying for God to keep him alive and that's all they're praying and she said they're super scared and that they're really sad and the holidays are the hardest times for them because they don't have their dad and it's really hard at the holidays not having him and um, 
She said they know he's in prison. They don't know, like, the latest stuff that's happened with the transfer and stuff because she just has no way to tell them that. I guess they're five years old and seven years old. Um, I didn't quite know that. And Jay Zarif, I know who he is now. <laughs> Yay for me. Uh, he's the foreign affairs minister of Iran. So now I look smarter, I guess. Um, so the next um, step, I guess, in this whole thing is um, a bunch of Democrats and Republicans are really mad. They don't like this deal at all. Uh, Chuck Schumer is the third-ranking Democrat in the Senate, and he doesn't like the deal. And so a bunch of them want to put more sanctions, stricter sanctions, on Iran uh, because there's something in the agreement that... Um, there's something in the agreement that says that um, if more sanctions are added, the deal is invalidated. Uh, and I think it would pass the House and the Senate, but Obama would probably veto it. And I don't know if there would be enough votes to pass the veto. And Obama's really good at the last minute at getting senators to go to his side. So they're telling everybody to, like, voice their opinions that we don't like this deal and, um, you know, trying to get the senators to, you know, stay on firm and in, in, in what they think about this deal. Um, and so that's the next step. There's a new petition, stand firm with against the nuclear Iran and stand firm with Saeed and the other two Americans. Um, it's at ACLJ.org. Last time I looked this afternoon, there was over 20,000 people had signed in less than five hours, um, which is really cool. I think that's more than the last one because I think it took us at least a day and a half to get to like 30,000. So um, when I signed it, there was like 8,000. And then when I went back um, that morning, a couple hours later, it was 14,000. And then my friend Jonathan went back a little bit after that, and he told me there was like 21,000. Um, and so there's been a lot of people that have signed this, but that's the new step. Go to aclj.org, sign the petition, uh, spread the word. Um, so that's the next step, and uh, who knows what will happen with this Iran deal. But, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. I don't think that it's leading to a safer world by all means. I, I don't. I don't. I mean, Pastor said you decide this was a stupid deal. I mean, I, this is something we're going to regret. I just... I really feel that this was just not a good move. I mean, not forgetting the pastor, but I'm just saying that even without the pastor in the in the equation, this is a horrible deal. Horrible deal. Uh, so anyway, sign the petition. Let your voice be heard. I will update you guys when I have more information. Um, and uh, anyways, so yeah, um, that's about it. God bless and... Um, Everyone have a good night. Oh, yeah, and uh, 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 they have um, some 85-year-old vet is detained in North Korea, too. Um, I don't know what's going to be done about that, but that's kind of scary. I don't know why they'd want to take an 85-year-old man, but who knows? These countries, I'll never understand. They're just crazy psychos. Anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. God bless.